Hi everybody, Jim Sammons here. Uh, you know, you wanna be a kayak angler, one of probably the biggest difficulties or things you have to consider besides the kayak is how you're gonna get your kayak to the water. Um, you know, there's, there's plenty of options. Uh, there's rooftop, there's truck bed, and then there's trailer. Um, I forever used a, a rack on top of my truck. Um, I've been through two trucks because of the rust. Being a saltwater guy, a saltwater fisherman, that salt dripping off, dripping off of your kayaks gets onto your truck and it doesn't matter how much you rinse them off. If you fish a lot, your vehicle is going to get rust damage. So a few years ago, for me, I switched to a trailer. And though the trailers are really tough, you know, even if they're gonna rust, it's still a lot cheaper to replace a trailer than it is to replace a truck. The other beauty of having a trailer for me is I no longer have to lift the kayak up over my head to get it up on that rack. Basically, I can just put the bow up on one end and slide the kayak right up onto the rack. It's, it's super simple. I can carry the kayak fully rigged. So rather than when I had it on top of my vehicle where I'd have to strip everything off of it, on the trailer, I can have the kayak fully rigged. So it's always ready to go. My kayaks never come off of my trailer because I have them secured with locks and such. They never come off of the trailer other than to go in the water. So I pull up, put it in my driveway. The kayaks are all secured on the trailer. When I wanna go the next day, hook it up and go. There's no more having to take it off the top of the vehicle or anything like that. So for me, the trailer has been a back saver, a vehicle saver and a time saver. So some of the features that I look for in a trailer, like I have here on my uh, Malone Mega Sport, is first off, how many kayaks can I carry? I need to carry quite a few boats because I guide clients. So having the ability to carry multiple kayaks, not just one. Um, then do I have gear storage? Is there a place to put my paddling clothing so I don't have to put it inside my car? Uh, you know, whether it's dry gear or getting my paddles put away or anything like that. Uh, another really nice item is, you know, if there's any kind of lighting, you know, you launch in the morning and you're rigging up your kayak, having some lighting on the kayak to shine down on your gear is really, really nice. Um, is it, you know, how solid is it? How well is it gonna handle um, going over the sand, uh, having a spare tire? These are just little things that you're gonna wanna have on there. A spare tire is huge. The last thing you wanna do is have to leave your trailer with your kayaks on the side of the road because you got a flat. That's why I use Malone's new Megasport trailer. Designed and built specifically for kayak anglers, Malone's Megasport trailer carries up to six fishing kayaks, weighs only 300 pounds, and features options like wet and dry storage, a charging station, and lockable rod tubes. So the last thing I wanna show you real quick when it comes to transporting the kayak is simply how to secure the kayak onto the trailer. Uh, you don't need real big, heavy ratcheting cam straps. A basic cam strap like these is, is perfect. You don't need to cinch down on these things. They just need to be snug. So you take your strap, I've got this one doubled up. It just goes down, around, and comes back. So as you can see here, it goes over the side of the kayak. Now with these saddles, what you wanna do is go down through the saddle. And this is the key part, is don't just come back up through the saddle. Go around the bar. You want to go around the bar that the saddle is attached to. Because if you go through just the saddle and you have any kind of failure, a uh, nut comes loose, anything like that, this way you are still attached to the trailer itself. It's a much secure way to do it. Your strap goes through the cam buckle. and then just snug it down. That's all, I'm not like reefing on this thing to tighten it down. I need to, actually I prefer this over that way a little bit. So I'm just gonna snug it down. See, I'm not reefing back on this thing, I'm not pulling that hard. And then just to keep that strap from slipping, I usually just do a little hatch, half hitch. And that way you know it's not gonna slip out there while you're driving down the road and have your straps come up loose. So 
Of course, if you're leaving your kayaks on your trailer, whether it's at the beach, at your home, anything like that, you wanna make sure you secure them with a nice cable lock. You can find you know, these cable locks at pretty much any, um, any hardware store. The other thing, and the other reason I always use a cable lock on my kayaks, even when I'm transporting them, if a strap fails, I still have the kayak locked to the trailer. So the kayak may fall off the trailer, but I'm still gonna drag it down the road. I'm not gonna send it into the windshield of another car. That's all there is to uh, securing your kayak onto your trailer. If you have any questions about these trailers or transporting your kayak in any fashion, please put your questions down in the comments section below. Give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to Kayak Fishing Tales.